Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of January 10th, 2019. I'm Christina Reese. And I'm Brandon Zach. This is our spring preview. We do this every single year. Uh, we also do a fall preview. Anyway, what we do is we round up what we're most excited about uh, that we'll be showing across Texas this coming spring. We do institutions and nonprofits. They're the ones who have their schedules uh, ready in advance so that we can really take a good hard look. That's the only reason there are no galleries on this list. Uh, there will be some excellent gallery shows that we're looking forward to as well, but. Of course, we'll mention those in future top fives, like we always do. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, we're gonna jump in and uh, run down the shows we're most excited to see. Number five on our 2019 spring preview list is Estampas Chicanas, which is a show opening at the McNay Art Museum in San Antonio on January 17th. Uh, it's going to run through the beginning of May. It's an exhibition of uh, Chicana artists, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a lot of prints and printmaking. I think this is kind of a really nice, it's probably designed more or less to be a follow-up uh, to a show, uh, Pop America, which recently closed at the McNay. Mm -hmm. Pop artists from 60s, 70s, 80s. Mm -hmm. I think this show, a lot of the works, uh, are they're very colorful. They're uh, like Southern California artists. Yeah, these are veteran Southern California and California Chicana artists. You've heard of You've heard of them, Esther Hernandez, Alma Lopez, Judy Baca. Actually, Barbara Carrasco, who's based in Southern California as well, was born in El Paso. There is a pop sensibility to this work. These are gifts, by the way, by Harriet and uh, Ricardo Romo of San Antonio, collectors in San Antonio. So um, we haven't named all the artists. It's going to be, a, I think, a fairly big group show. Number four on our spring preview list is a show at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. It's Van Gogh, His Life in Art. <laughs> the show opens uh, March 10th. It runs until June. This is kind of the Museum of Fine Arts' big blockbuster spring show. Mm -hmm. um, and one, I mean, one of the reasons we're picking it is who doesn't love Van Gogh? Yeah, these paintings are so. I mean, you remember we were at the Norton Simon just last year, and we saw a lot of really choice, juicy Van Goghs. I mean, the, you can't go wrong with a Van Gogh show. I think is probably what we're trying to say. Even a really bad Van Gogh show is really good because it has really good paintings in it. I believe, I know the internet will correct me if I'm wrong, but that the Museum of Fine Arts Houston really only has one like finished Van Gogh painting mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. all the time uh, in the Impressionist, Post-Impressionist collection. So I think this is gonna be a really good chance for art lovers and people that just know they like Impressionism or Post-Impressionism to see a lot of really good Van Goghs. A lot of the pieces in this show are, are traveling from the Van Gogh Museum in Am Amsterdam also. So it's gonna be a really nice chance to see pieces that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Number three on our list uh, takes place at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. It's called Disappearing, California circa 19. 70. This is a uh, this is a show featuring Chris Burden, uh, Boss Jan Otter, and Jack Goldstein, three artists who lived and worked in Southern California and dealt with themes of disappearance and self-effacement. Uh, Boss Jan Otter being very famous for disappearing in the Atlantic Ocean when he attempted to sail a very small sailboat across it in uh, the 1970s. So we don't know what the work is going to be, what this particular curator who's put together the show is bringing together of these artists' works. I, I will just say that if you say the name Chris Burton, I just go running in that direction because he's my favorite. I'm really looking forward to this. I like all of these artists' work. It should be great. Two on our list uh, is at the Contemporary Austin. In fact, it opens on January 23rd. It is Janine Antoni and Anna Halprin. It's called Paper Dance. This is at the Jones Center location, by the way. Janine Antoni, this is almost like a retrospective, she's, but she's brought in this veteran choreographer to do some dance interpretation. Actually, I think uh, Janine has worked very closely with her on this. It's, it's, a, it's considered a dynamic retrospective. I think Janine Antoni is one of the best artists living and working today. She's New York based, she was born in the Bahamas. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen anything of hers that I didn't think was incredibly strong. There will be 15 performances throughout this show. Um, and it's a really short span of a show also. It closes in March, like mid-March, so it's j late January to mid-March. And it's kind of like three exhibitions also. What I really like about this show is it's very institutional critique-y. Um, part of the show and the performances that's kind of essential, it seems, is the fact that the uh, art will be 
taken down and installed by art handlers like during public hours. Mm -hmm. um, so the installation of the art, the changing out of the art, it will be three different shows themed around like three different bodies of work from her career. <laughs> yeah, It's a really weird way to do an exhibition, but it's a way to do it so it has repeat visitor value too. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and she's gonna be the one performing. So this is a big uh, get for Texas. This is really something that you should travel to Austin to see if you have a chance. And number one on our list is Latinx Art Now 2019. So bear with me for a second. Latinx Art Now is a conference, a national program that's presented by the Inner University Program for Latino Research, which is kind of like a collaboration of universities that are doing Latino research. Um, this program, this conference uh, has started out in the early 2000s. It's been hosted in New York, Los Angeles, DC, Chicago, and this year's will be hosted in Houston, mm -hmm. and Houston beat out Miami, San Antonio, and LA. Um, so basically, from April 4th to 6th at the University of Houston, there will be a conference with you know papers and lectures and panels and discussions and all the kind of thing that normally comes around a conference. But the other thing we're really excited about, the other part of this, is that basically the entire spring across Houston, there are going to be more than 20 venues, nonprofits, galleries, artist run spaces, a little bit of everything, participating and showing work by Latinx artists. Um, just a small smattering of what we're interested in. Uh, Benito Huerta and Janet Chaffee are going to be showing work at Rudolph Bloom Fine Art Art Scan Gallery. Um, there's a show, a big group show, Axis Mundo Queer Networks in Chicano LA at Lawndale. Uh, this show was part of uh, Pacific Standard Time in Los Angeles, which is always a really great collaboration of exhibitions and programs. Um, you know, that along with other group shows, other solo shows, there's too many to name, there's too many participating spaces to name, but this is a big um, Latinx founded. Citywide. Yeah, it's a big Latinx founded, Latinx run event that, you know, we know some of the people that are organizing this, they're doing this, they're doing all of this legwork and the reward is going to be given to the city of Houston and they're doing a really great job on it. Uh, that's it. Yeah. We'll tell you about all the gallery shows as they come up. And also next week is Glass Towers Gala. It is uh, in Houston, but it is all San Antonio artists in the art auction. It's uh, Go online, go to our website. You can see what we're uh, offering. It's wonderful stuff by wonderful artists. Some of our very, very favorite artists in Texas are in this auction. A lot of them will be at the party and that takes place next Friday. And then keep up with all of the events happening across Texas. I know this weekend and next weekend are gonna kind of be the big reopening weekends for a lot of galleries, mm -hmm. and you can check out all of those on our event listings. So go see some art. Go see some art.